Hey, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Johnny B here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a new series. A little bit of backstory on this series. I had to go to the auction the other day for the boss and do a visual inspection of some of the cars that we want to purchase that we saw online. So I was, uh, as I was going through them one by one, I ran into this. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell what it is at the moment because it is a little bit damaged in the front. but this is something that is fairly simple to fix and the reason I decided to go with this project is because I know that most of the time people get into little fender benders and the insurance charges a deductible it could be $500 it could be a thousand dollars it could be $1,500 sometimes it's easier if you take it to a body shop and just fix it if it's like a $300 job or you could do it yourself so this is what I'm gonna be doing this is a 2002 Lexus IS300. And the reason that I bought this car was initially not to fix it because I thought it was it was done. It was in the back, it wasn't turning on, it looked like it was abandoned. I've been looking at it for about three weeks and it hadn't showed up on the auction online. So one day it came out, I saw it, and I bought it. The only reason I bought it, come over here, is for these. These are K Sport Big Brake Kits. It's got the front and it also has the rears on it. When I saw them, I was like, I want the brake system. Because I want to put it into the FRS, modify it somehow to put it on there. Because this kit runs for about $3,000 and I was pretty impressed with it. Let me show you guys a little bit of the interior. For it being a 2002, it's actually in pretty good conditions. The leather is all nice. The guy that had it before actually took pretty good care of it. If you guys look at the dash, that is a beauty. Look at that. It looks like a Rolex. When I saw that, I was very impressed. And another reason that I decided to go ahead and make it a project car and just basically fix it up is because it's savable. Look at this. All the paint is good. There's actually no dents either. I think I found one dent. None of the paint is faded. This is the only little dent I found. And you can barely see it. Oh, here's the, here are the rear ones. You guys want to look at the rear brakes on it also. But yeah, so this is going to be a new series. I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically disassemble a car like this that you usually need to replace at least the radiator and the condenser when something like this happens. I believe that this car was reversed into so it was something that wasn't uh, big, big enough to damage the car and actually set it off so the airbags are all good. If you guys look over here, I've actually done a, quite a bit of these. Take a look at this. These are all radiators and condensers that I've done from previous cars. This is something that body shops normally do, but since I, I can do it, most of the time I do it here in-house in the shop, and I wanna show you guys how to do it just in case you guys need to repair something like that for yourselves. 